Hello, I'm going to be going over the calculations for spontaneous rate and spontaneous tidal volume in a patient who is mechanically ventilated on SIMV mode. So we are given some machine rates and tidal volumes, and we're also given total rates and minute volume. So this is a lot of information to digest. Um, I'm going to do the calculations separately. I find it easier to organize my information that way. So I'm just going to use a separate sheet of paper. The first calculation I want to do is finding the spontaneous respiratory rate. Um, I'm doing this one because it is the easier of the other calculations we are given a total respiratory rate per the data, 16, 28, 38, and 44. We are also given our machine rate And that is for every single time. So the ventilator is just set at four breaths per minute for the mandatory rate. And we are solving for spontaneous respiratory rate. We're given the total rate and um, the data for the total respiratory rate has to be between the machine and the patient. So it's just going to be a subtraction problem. So if we take the machine rate and subtract it from the entire respiratory rate, we should get the spontaneous. The only thing left over is what the patient is doing beyond what the ventilator is giving the patient. So after I do these calculations, 12, 24, 34, and 40 breaths per minute. Okay, so moving on to the next set of calculations, I'm going to find our spontaneous minute volume. So we're given total minute volume and I'm just copying this straight from the problem. Okay, so we are not directly given machine minute volume like we were the machine rate. However, we are indirectly given it because they give us the two values required to find this, this value. So if you recall, the tidal volume times respiratory rate is our minute volume. So per the problem, the tidal vol volume given to us from the machine is 800 mLs or 0.8 liters. Uh, minute volume is usually in liters per minute, so we're just going to convert that directly to liters. So we were given that value, 0.8 liters times our respiratory rate from the machine, which is right here. And it's always 4 in, in the problem. The tidal volume is always 800, so it is going to be the same calculation each time. And when I did that, I got 3.2 liters per minute. So the same calculation each time. And 
Now that we have our total minute volume and our machine minute volume, it's the same thing as above. We're just subtracting because the only thing that can be left over is the spontaneous minute volume and what the patient is doing. So I just threw these numbers in my calculator. I got 4.8 for the first one. 8 minus 3.2 is still 4.8. 8.25 minus 3.2 is 5.05. And lastly, 6 minus 3.2 is 2.8. And these are all liters per minute. Okay, so ultimately we are trying to find the spontaneous tidal volume. Now that we have our spontaneous rate and our spontaneous minute volume, we can use this formula here and rearrange it to find our tidal volume. So I'm going to write down the formula again. Minute volume equals tidal volume times respiratory rate. And I'm just going to rearrange this formula a bit. So tidal volume will equal minute volume over the respiratory rate. So I just rearranged it. And using the values that we got here in blue, all of our spontaneous values, now we just have to plug it in this formula for each one. So for the first one, we have 12 and 4.8. So I did the first one, I'm doing 4.8 divided by 12. Same thing for the second one, 4.8 divided by 24. For the first one, I got 0.4 liters. For the second one, I got 0.2 liters. And we can convert this back to milliliters because generally on a ventilator, the tidal volume is in milliliters. So this would be 400 mLs. This is 200 mLs. We're just moving the decimal place over three times. And then we can repeat it. Tidal volume equals minute volume over respiratory rate. The next set of values we have is 5.05 .05 over 34. And the last set of values we have is 2.8 over 40. So same thing, I'm just going to convert this to milliliters. And those are all of the spontaneous tidal volumes that I got. So like I said, we have to find the spontaneous rate and the spontaneous minute volume in order to use this main formula right here. And we can just rearrange it this way to get our tidal volumes. And I knew that the 4.8 went with the 12, 4.8 with 24, 5.05 .05 went with 34, and 2.8 went with 40. Because those were the separate hours of when the ventilator was checked. So this was at 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m., and 11 a.m. So we just wanted to keep those together. I 
I had to convert liters back to milliliters by moving the decimal place over three times. So at 9 a.m., our tidal volume was 400 mLs. At 10 a.m., oh, I'm sorry, at 8 a.m. this was 400. At 9 a.m. this was 200. 10 a.m. it was 150. And 11 a.m. it was only 70. So as we can see, as time went on, this patient's spontaneous tidal volume decreased greatly.